Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? I hope you're ready for another full fingerstyle arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff, because this time we're gonna learn a true classic, My Way, the Paul Anka song made famous by none other than Frank Sinatra. So, it's a legendary song, get ready for a legendary arrangement. I'm gonna play it for you first, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, note by note, chord by chord, finger position by finger position, with tabs right here on the screen for your enjoyment and ease. It goes like this, enjoy. Okay, so before we start, I want to acknowledge the fact that you can play this in two completely different variations. Okay, okay, you want to go, go. Um, I got a biscuit for nothing. Um, anyway, uh, you can play this in the mellow version, the way I played it in the demonstration, true to the Sinatra version, very emotional and sentimental. But you can also play it in a more rhythmical way and take the Gypsy Kings route. The Gypsy Kings uh, did a version of my way called uh, Ay Mi Manera, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't know Spanish. Um, I think that's the title. And they play it kind of like this. the mellow version because I like to I I, I don't know why I just uh, prefer the the sentimental the sentimental version um, music should uh, always transfer some kind of emotion in my opinion that's my approach to music you can play the rhythmical version if you like I'm gonna teach you the notes you do whatever the heck you like with them it's my arrangement, but you take it and make it yours. That's how things work here on Lek and Riff. So, D, and you play the third string, then you play the first string with the D bass, and then you do whatever you like with the chord. Okay, or, okay. and then you have two on the third string again, two zero two on the E string. It's still D, so you can pull off the two, okay? But then when you go back to the last F sharp note, you have a C sharp on the bass, okay? And it's D major seven, actually. So you can either do D with C sharp, four on the fifth string, or you can do D major seven over C sharp. And that actually makes it sound uh, like F sharp minor but not entirely so it's uh, two 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 and four on the fifth string so it's your choice 
And you can also play uh, D major 7 without any bass change, but I don't recommend that. I recommend the bass change here because that's, that's what the arrangement is all about. So. into D7 and the bass note goes uh, one fret down to C so it's three on the fifth fret and it sounds a little bit diminished but again when you play it in sequence it sounds right so okay, and then Two on the third, two zero on the E string again, but then you do B7 sus4 to B7. Okay? B7, 5, 4 on the second string, and I play strings 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay? I don't play the E string here. Okay? Then the open second string, and then 3 on the E string for E minor. Strings one, two, three, and six. You can put two and two if you're planning on strumming everything or having a classical sort of arpeggio. Um, you can just do okay, just strings one, two, and three or enough. And then the open second string, three slide to two or three, two, or pull off your choice. And then you have E minor major seven. So it's an A minor shape on three on the E string. So it's three, four, four, and the sixth string. And then you have the same open, uh, open second, three, two on the E string. And then you have E minor seven. So it's three and three on strings, one and two. Basically, you had this, and um, that's the motif. Everything goes down one fret. It was, and now it's okay. Um, that's uh, that's the the brilliance of this song. It's not just in the lyrics. So um, E minor. Then major, minor major seven, E minor seven. Then the open third string. Then you have um, uh, it's actually two on the second string, but you can do the open third string and two on the second together for A seven. You should play the A bass. I forgot that. I apologize. Okay. You can put A, okay, the full A, or just five and two on strings, uh, one and two. Then three, three on the E string, back to D. Okay. So. I forgot the A, so again, okay, you just, you don't even have to play the two on the second, uh, only if you want to be a stickler uh, according to the original melody. Then you go to D5, which means D with five on the E string, so it's five, three, two, springs two, one. Seven five four on the E string, you can slide into the seven, and then this C diminished. Beautiful choice of a chord here. Uh, not in, not on my part, uh, on the on Paul Anka's part. Okay, so it's five four four three on strings one two four five. Okay, so you play that no third string. You can play no if you want really strange sound, play the third string, but that's not the harmony here, so, so, uh, and then, mm, and now, you don't 
have to do it like this, but I do 7, 7 on strings 1 and 2, then 5, 3 on the E string back to G. Um... You can do a simpler way. I think this works fine. Um... I play 3 and 3 on strings uh, 1 and 6 with my finger and thumb. You can do the whole shape if you like. Then, again, a beautiful uh, choice of chord. 5 3 2 0 on the E string and to G minor. So it's 3 3 and 3 on strings 2 3 and 6. So. I don't know if you noticed, but I changed to the rhythmical version somehow. Then, first D chord again, exactly the same. 2, 3, 2, 0 on E into E minor. Then A with 2, 3 on the second open E. Okay, so. Then G6, G with the open E string. Then D, 3 on the second string is the melody note. And that's your verse, D. Back to the mellow version. D major 7 over C sharp. D7 over C. B7. Major seven. E minor seven. A D D five. Diminished. C diminished. G G minor. D. Also play it like this without rhythm at all, just expression. Can't believe I pulled it off. Um, and then expression, and then A G six. Whatever the heck you like with this arrangement. It's really, really open to interpretation, this one. Then you have the chorus, or the bridge, if you, if you like. It's 2, 3, 5, 5 on the E string into another D shape. It's 5, 7, 7, 0. Okay, so... Seven, five, four. Seven. So I put five, seven, five, and zero, or you can just put the whole shape. Uh, nothing wrong with putting a whole chord on. So uh, no, no other way to do that. And then. It's eight on the second string. 577 on the E string into G. So it's a stretch, it's the piano G. It's 7 3 on strings 1 and 6. So. Then it's 8 7 5 7 into the same chord. No other way than just playing the solo and then back to the chord. to the high chords. 7, 9, 10, 10, and you put 10, 8, 9, and you play it with the 6th string, this creates E minor 7, so, uh, because it's this, okay, and you get this now, uh, this harmony, so, you can just play open strings, but we played open strings already, 
so variation. 7, 10, 7, 9 into a D shape on 9, which is A, so you play it with A. 9, 10, 12, 12 into a barred shape on 9, A minor 7 shape, this is F sharp minor 7. on 12 on E. 9, 10, 12, 12. And then, this is a little bit uncomfortable. It's uh, 14 pull up, but we got ourselves into that jam on the high notes, so I'm not gonna go back to um, Okay. okay, I think it'll ruin the whole flow. It works, but it's it, it destroys the momentum, so mm. 14 pull off to 10 on the E string, 14 on the second string, and then a bar on seven with 10 on the E string with your pinky. Um, this is B minor, uh, B minor. But you need to uh, focus on 10 with your pinky because you can play it before the chord, so. Okay, so practice that. Um, I did. Um, it's not an easy transition. Uh, then you have the same move uh, from E minor uh, to A. Okay, it's the same as before. It's 7, uh, 9, 10, 10 into E minor. You can play the open strings this time or the previous uh, chord, 10, 8, 9. And then uh, 7, 10, 7, 9 into the D shape for A. 12, 12 into G. So you have a few, uh, few options. You can play strings one, two, three, and four and create a G over D chord if you like it. I don't really like it, so I play this. Okay, I bar 12 to the fourth string and on the fifth string I put 10. This is G6. Okay, it's the same as this, but here. Okay, it's exactly the same. It's an octave up. And this is also an octave up. Um, so basically you can play this. If you like, you can play a G with harmonic on 12. But why if you can play this? And then it's 10 and 11 on strings 1 and 3 with the D string. Okay, you can do 10, 10, 11. But then I like to go back down here to either start the verse again or finish. So I do something like. Or. Got confused. Something like. Last one was enough. Uh, I was just kidding. Um, so you can do on strings one and three. You can do uh, nines, sevens, five and six, which is A, and then three and four, which is G, and then three and three, which is G minor, and then D, or slide into the D from one fret down. So. You can do 5-5 five, five for A minor if you like. If you want to get all Tommy Emmanuel. Modern finger style. Um, I'm more old school, so forgive me for 
the gist. Uh, and that's the arrangement and the lesson for uh, my way. Before you go practice this, download the tab from the website. The link is below in the description. But before you do that, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I don't know why you're not subscribed yet. There are a ton of free lessons here, including the tabs. The tabs are free. Everything is for free. It's crazy. And if you want to give something back to Lick and Riff anyway, there's a large blue donation button right above the tab. It says donate. It's blue. It's oval. And it's beautiful. It's mesmerizing. You can't, you, you can't say no to that. So uh, everything goes right back into making your lessons, into your guitar education, and I thank you in advance for your generosity. I'll see you in the next lesson. You have fun with this. Bye for now. Thank you very much for watching.